Remember these? Find out how to turn them into a rocket car. <laughs> Try these experiments at home and break a record. Blow your mind without blowing up your mom's kitchen. Hi, I'm Professor Orbex, and this is the Guinness World Records title for the furthest distance by a Mentos and soda bottle vehicle. Now, for this one, you're going to have to build some kind of vehicle that runs solely on Mentos and a soda bottle. You can use this using anything around your home. We've got uh, straws, you can use cable ties, popsicle sticks, uh, we have these vitamin C tablet containers, scissors, bottle caps, rubber bands. You can use literally anything. Now, we've done a few designs of our own. What I've got here is one done entirely from popsicle sticks and ketchup container lids. Uh, another example would be one made with a detergent container. I mean, you could even really use a skateboard. And you remember these things, fidget spinners. They're laying all over the place now. We finally got a use for them. My trusty assistant, Sweet Pepper Clopet, has actually created wheels just using fidget spinners and the lid from a pickle jar. Glue it together, and there you go. But we've used all of our mind power to create what we believe to be the perfect soda and Mentos bottle rocket car. Pepper, drum roll please. Boom. What we've got here is just doweling from a garden center attached to these pickle lid fidget spinner wheels and a cable tie attached to the soda bottle. Pepper, let's go try this out. Yes. Now the next part's gonna get a little messy, so we've come outside. We've shown you how to build the rocket car, but we haven't shown you how to power it yet. For that, you're gonna need these. What I've got here is a bunch of Mentos that we've actually strung onto a piece of copper wire. Another helpful hint in order to get your rocket car to go faster is to drill a small hole into the lid of the bottle. That'll actually create a nozzle which will shoot it out faster and make the vehicle go a lot quicker. If you need it, seek adult supervision to put the hole in the lid. And now for the guidelines. You're gonna to need to find a long level piece of land with no slopes on it in order to run your vehicle. First, mark a place on the ground so you have a distinct start line because the vehicle is gonna to have to sit entirely behind this line in order to start. Do a countdown and then drop the Mentos into the bottle, at which point you are allowed to let go and the vehicle will move forward. No pushing over the start line. Finally, when it comes to a stop, measure the distance from your start line to where the vehicle stops in a straight line, and that will be your distance. Thread the Mentos through the holy cap, like so. This experiment is actually a lot harder than it looks, and it might take you a few tries to actually get it to work, but it will definitely work. I know we can get this to work. It's science. Now, if this was a genuine attempt, you would measure from the start line to where your vehicle finished in a straight line as your total distance.
To power this, we drop the Mentos into the soda. Thousands of nucleation points are created as soon as you drop it inside, allowing the gas to shoot out at high speed. Did we get it, guys? <laughs> for full guidelines on how to attempt this record for yourself at home, go to guinnessworldrecords.com forward slash books. Good luck. Uh, this one we made using a detergent container. Um, I mean, realistically, you could even use a skateboard. One of the most important things in making your Mentos and soda bottle... <laughs>